what's the, what's the general turnover rate for uh, for door knockers for sales staff that is in that space? I mean, industry wide, man, I, I would say the turn turnover rate nationwide is probably like ninety five percent. It's bad for, for every storm, and, and is that typical of what your um, let's say uh, uh, what your clients are feel anyway? Right? I, I'm just I'm trying to understand. Yeah. The, if the type of human that jumps into this job has some success. Is it are they working part time? Are they working full time? Are, are they working once? Are they working one storm? The storm's gone. They just go find another job. No. You know what's what's the mentality there? So it depends, I guess, on the infrastructure of the company. Because if, if you're a company that comes into Wilmington and says we're setting up shop here for a year, and then next year if there's no storm, we're leaving. That's a totally different ballpark. That's a really, honestly, that's kind of a hard answer or a, a hard question to answer, Chris, because everyone's so different. Um, yeah. On average, like, here's the thing. People quit and they turn over because they're having a bad experience and they're not getting paid. And they're not getting paid because they're having a bad experience. So, like, the turnover rate in the industry is so ridiculously high because yeah. they're, most companies don't have the tools to keep their guys. You keep people when they can figure out the job quickly and because they can do it quickly, they're having a good experience and because they're having a good experience, that means they're making money at it. So if you've got somebody who believes in the opportunity and you train them properly and they're out the door and they're quickly using what they've just learned, they're getting results right away and then they're getting paid quickly because of that, they don't wanna go anywhere. What other job can you literally work nine months a year if you want make six figures and your schedule is pretty much your own. You know, like I always share my story with people, especially salesmen. Cause they're, you know, there are a lot of people that call me are like, Becca, I'm thinking about leaving my comfy job where, you know, I'm making $55,000 a year, but I kind of hate it, you know, and I'm working 40 hours a week and it's scary for me to quit this job, but I see this roofing opportunity, yada, yada, yada. And I share with people, you know, my first year that I worked, I worked for four months. I did July, August, September, October. I left on November 2nd. And in four months, I sold 650000 and I brought home one hundred and five. dollars Like, where else can you do that as somebody without a degree, you know, without any, any previous experience doing it whatsoever? And then the second year, I worked for eight months, and I did like $1.25 million, and I brought home two forty. dollars So, like, if you can present, that's where... And again, I know I keep going back to my programs, but I build all of this information. It, everything that I'm saying to you today is in the way that you're going to present to your newbies. And if you present it that way, you're going to get much better results than the industry averages because most guys aren't getting this information. They aren't getting this belief built in. They aren't getting the expectations delivered to them in a way that's not scary, right? So I would say that if somebody's going to quit, they're probably going to quit within the first month. If you can get somebody to stick around longer than that and they've got the right training and they're being managed the right way by your sales manager, they're going to stick around because they're going to make good money in a way less time than they can make anywhere else for the average person.